special counsel, so just bear, bear with me here. But here's basically the first line. It says, Paul Manafort, 68, of Alexandria, Virginia, and Richard Gates, 45, of Richmond, Virginia, have been indicted by a federal grand jury on October 27th in the District of Columbia. The indictment, it goes on to say, contains 12 counts, conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy to launder money, unregistered agent of a foreign principal, false and misleading FARA statements, false statements, and seven counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts. So there we now know, we have some idea at least of what the charges are, and a lot of it is what we've been talking about, that it's going to have to deal with financial crimes. Paul Manafort's work and now Rick Gates' work overseas with Ukraine and possibly other countries. And this is what we've been reporting for some time now, that this is where the focus of some of the special counsel investigation has been. All right, Shimon, thank you. Um, and Susan, let's bring you in. Let's just explain to people who Rick Gates is. A lot of people know who Paul Manafort is because he chaired the president's campaign. Rick Gates is someone, a con political consultant, who has been by Manafort's side for decades, who worked along with him uh, you know, on the Trump campaign, even beyond Paul Manafort. When Paul Manafort stepped down, Rick Gates, Susan, as you know, kept working with the president on the inaugural committee and then raising $25 million for a big PAC that supports the president until April when he was ousted because of concerns on these Ukraine dealings. What are your thoughts this morning? Right, so one of the things we've seen sort of as a, the president's tactics in the past is whenever bad news has come out about individuals sort of related to him, he really tries to distance himself pretty quickly, right? They, were, they weren't a big part of the team. Uh, Steve Bannon came on very late. Um, so what's going to be relevant here is, of course, uh, how sort of how uh, strongly they try and distance themselves from Paul Manafort. That's going to be difficult considering his prominent role in the campaign. And then how do they try and distance themselves from Rick Gates? What's going to be hard about Rick Gates, as you mentioned, is that he actually stayed on on, was part of the inaugural committee, um, and so that's mm -hmm. going to make it far more challenging for the Trump team to say, hey, look, we didn't know anything about any of the suspicions around these people. As soon as we found out they were sort of bit players, we pushed them out, and, and right, their, essentially their behavior doesn't reflect on us and doesn't reflect on our judgment. Jeffrey, when Shimon was reading uh, the 12 counts, the first one was conspiracy against the United States. Shimon, was that accurate? Because we're just piecing through this, this, this document right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is accurate, and that's what the press release said. I now have a copy of the indictment, so I'm going through it to see exactly what that means, but Jeffrey may have a, a better idea. So, so, so am I. Um, it, it, is, um, um, it, it relates to tax offenses, okay. um, in, among other things. But, I mean, I think what's striking initially, first of all, you know, this is a 31-page indictment. That's a very long indictment. Mm -hmm. Indictments are often much shorter than this. Um, and it deals with uh, financial dealings primarily, uh, but not exclusively. And uh, I, I think um, it, it mostly deals with uh, Manafort and Gates' personal finances, money laundering, using the money they got from the Ukraine mm -hmm. to hide it from the tax authorities, not to report it properly. So That's my initial impression, but I have to admit right. I'm still just going through it, and, and I, haven't, I haven't gotten to the end. It's long. There's something called a superseding indictment where you can add charges uh, against the same defendant. So, so we are not at the end of the process by any means. And most experts would say really at the, at the beginning and the timing here, tomorrow, as Evan reported, the, the, you know, the date runs up for, the, for some of these uh, tax issues to be charged. That's tomorrow, the end of the month. So they had to get some of this out. So as you're saying, there could be another, there could be more added to this. The, the, there, could, there, there could be more added, but mm -hmm. believe me, this is, me, this is a bad day for Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, even if this is all the charges that they face. I mean, these are 12 very serious felonies with very heavy penalties associated with Lock them up, lock them up, lock them up.